Hello everybody, um, it's been a while, I've been busy with some things, but I felt like I should make a video about this current situation, just since Dodge is handling it sort of right now, I want to see how um, everything comes to a finalization with them, before I make any uh, other videos about the topic, but when I first took this car and took possession of it, I had driven from New Jersey to Virginia. It was one of the last B5 Blues. And um, I guess I didn't notice this at the time, but I'm going to show you what I noticed when I got home. On all of my wheels, all four of them, there are these marks. It's in one spot on each wheel. I don't know if you can see that. It's like scratch marks right by the lug nuts. And um, at first I didn't know what it was. I only had seen it on one wheel. So then I was like, okay, maybe I did it. <laughs> as bad as I don't want to admit that. But then I went and I saw... Oh, here we go. There's these scratches. I don't know if you can kind of see that. Well, either way, it's on all four wheels. So, I don't know what the deal was, but problem is, I bought this car out of state. So, of course, big problem for me, right? This is the driver's side front wheel again these weird little scratches and um I don't know if I can see it on this here's another thing on the spoke but it's total bullshit because this car is garage kept at home this car is garage kept at work so how are you going to tell me I caused scratches on this car? No way. Well, long story short, the uh, Dodge has my complaint. They have a case number. They have a crew looking at it. I should find out hopefully by the beginning of the week um, if they're going to be able to handle this for me. I'm hoping the outcome is four new wheels, to be honest with you. These are matte wheels, so it's kind of hard to be able to buff out a scratch or or do any of that stuff. And... I'm not going to have them repair a wheel or repaint. That's kind of shitty. I don't want that on my car. This is a brand new car. It's got like 1,800 miles, if that right now. So I'm not about that life. Um, but either way, I'm going to give a couple little updates. So this isn't just a video about these wheels. But I thought I would just make something so that, you know, anybody with these wheels, maybe you're seeing it, maybe you're Googling it, and you're like, oh, okay, let me just see if anybody else has this kind of scratch. If you do, it could be from a dealer. Um, they said something about some three-digit, uh, three-letter initial, or whatever, P-I-R, P-D-R, P-I-L, whatever the hell he said. But I guess it's something to do with them putting the rims on. So I don't know if the tech uh, put the rims on too quickly and the, uh, the air gun caused some scrapage. Because it kind of looks like rotational marks where they're putting the wheel lug nuts on. Um, you know... It is what it is. I don't really care. The other thing I wanted to show quickly, I finally mounted my camera so I could start recording dash cam videos. Um, I don't know. Today I kind of got some stuff. There was a couple little things. I might start making like a little video here and there of little edits. Nothing too crazy. I'm not going to post just to post, but you know, just stuff that's entertaining or amusing to me. I, as you can tell here, I took off all four side markers. And I'm just rolling dirty like this right now. <laughs> oh well, but I took it all off because the goal is to try something different. Obviously you can look and see my dumbass went just a little too dark. So I'm not happy with that. Plus I don't know how the hell that happened. There's like a scratch scuff on that. So... The plan is, what I'm going to try to do is buy some 
very good sandpaper. I'm going to get some primer and I'm going to try to take this paint. It matches the car color. I'm going to try to put this on. Like I think I got this from eBay or Amazon. I'm going to try to put this on there. Um, obviously, I'm not going to have the use of the lights anymore, but to be honest with you, I've seen a couple people tint the lights. I've seen a couple people paint them and the the little output of light looks like shit. I'm not really into that. So, I think just painting them so that they color match will give it a kind of a, a side marker delete type thing. And um, if I like it, that's that's awesome. If not, worst case scenario, I'm going to go to black. But we're going to see. So this is the last little update for the video. These are the emblems I was showing you um, that I'm going to try to put on the front grill. Just so you could see what I'm dealing with here. They have little posts that are supposed to screw in. But on two of them, this is my second one from China, mind you. Um... The posts don't want to work that well, so I used Loctite on this one, but I'm going to try to get some kind of epoxy. But as you can see, the quality on this one's not that great. Um, I might try to redo them. That's me just using a marker on that one, so ignore that. But I'm going to try to make it so, because this one looks better. It doesn't have that mark on it. It kind of looks pretty good, so... I'm going to find a way to permanently put this pole there and try to change out the front emblem, which is the goal for these. So these are the next two little projects. I'm going to get this bad boy, like I said, color matched. Oh, be careful when you order these key fob things. I thought this was going to match the car. Yeah, uh, not so much. Stupid me, right? Whatever. But just be careful when you buy those. But before you know it, hopefully I get a nice color match on there. Otherwise, I'm going black. And um, we'll see how she works. So, hope you like this video. If you have any other ideas of things you want to see, like I said, I'm going to try doing dash cam videos. I actually just ordered a pair of glasses that have a camera built into them to do some kind of point of view driving video. I think that would be kind of cool. And I might be swapping out my intake. I got a couple other mods coming in the future. Yeah, before I go, I just want to say thank you to the new people that are subscribed. And for the people leaving comments. I really enjoy talking to you guys. Um, hopefully, you know, I can meet up with some people. There's a couple people on here that I actually really like. Hopefully we can meet up, start doing some videos or something. Because these cars are just flat out amazing.